And howdy, everybody. <laughs> How you doing? Happy to see you here. Happy Monday to you. I'm glad to be here with you. I'm Rob Booker. And uh, this is our daily party. I've renamed it the daily party. I figure we have a good time here. We talk about indicators. We talk about trading systems. We talk about automated trading systems. You probably you might have a beverage while we're here. Uh, and I would just like to invite you to the webinar. I'm glad to see you here. Thanks for stopping by. I think today's webinar ought to be a pretty good time. And I've been checking out something new here, and I want to share it with you. From time to time, I'll take a, an indicator that I used in the past, like pivots or reversal arrows that we haven't looked at in a long time, and I'll revisit using those tools. And uh, by revisiting that, I, I just kind of discover something new and try something new out. So welcome to you if you're just joining us now. Nice to see, nice to see Dan and Felipe and Douglas and Wayne and everybody here. I'm so glad to spend this. This is basically my favorite time of the day. And uh, let's take a look at what's going on right now. Here is the Australian dollar, US dollar, one of my very favorite uh, financial instruments of all time and forever. And on this 15 minute chart, we've got Knoxville Divergence, abbreviated by KD. KD stands for Knoxville Divergence. And then we've got the RB reversal tabs. And I called them reversal tabs. I called them reversal arrows. Call them, I don't know. I'm going <laughs> to, I don't know what to call them. Let's, um, Let's take a look at what happens when both of these line up. Now, for those of you that are longtime listeners and first-time callers, this is really trifecta one. Trifecta one is where this all came from in the first place. And trifecta one was the first time I taught a class about Knoxville divergence. Trifecta one, I don't even think you can get it anymore, but I'll, I'll give you some basics right here. And maybe we'll put up a link uh, to maybe we'll put up a link to it up in the comments below or above or whatever, and you can check it out. Maybe we'll um, do a flash sale on it for like five dollars or something if you've never watched it before. Okay, um, this is Knoxville divergence, and it's an early warning sign that price is going to reverse. This is a reversal tab, and it is. I hate to use this word. It's a confirmation that that reversal is going to occur. Now, I hate the word confirmation, uh, but it is kind of a confirmation. Now, when that happens, we want to look down here at the daily pivot, which in this case actually was missed. It wasn't hit. And we want to set a target on this to halfway the distance to that daily pivot once that reversal tab or reversal arrow appears. That seems like a pretty darn good idea. And then we, we hit that target pretty well. We hit that target pretty great. Now here is a reversal tab going in the opposite direction. And we're going to ignore it. That looks like a mouth with fangs in it. There's a little face with mouth. With, okay, that's disgusting. Here's another set of reversal tabs. I'm going to remove all of the drawing tools. And we're going to focus on this next. Another thing that I noticed is that when you get two of these reversal tabs right next to each other, boom, boom, right next to each other, in when that happens, that is a super high pro on any time frame chart. That is a super high probability reversal. Super high probability reversal, which would be the name of a band if I were to start a band, the name of my band would be Super High Probability Reversal. I kind of like that band name. That's a pretty good band name. Do you, what would your band be named if you were going to start a band? All right, that is pretty awesome. Now, these reversal tabs, uh, I don't even, frankly, I don't even remember how they're built. I know they include the MACD, and I built them, but I don't, incl I don't remember what went into them, and, and we can focus on that tomorrow. But uh, I think these are included in that trifecta one class. Yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, let's go over here and see if we find some other stuff. Here's a single reversal tab. That doesn't mean anything to me. This is a single reversal tab. That doesn't mean anything to me. This is a single reversal arrow. That doesn't mean anything to me. That's a single one. That doesn't mean anything to me. It's not like single people and single arrows don't matter. I mean, I'm just saying it doesn't matter to me. This, however, is a prime time this is a prime time trifecta one setup. Well, let's see here.
trifecta one. Check that action out. Trifecta one one. That is the combination of a Knoxville divergence setup plus a reversal arrow. Now, once those two things pop up, look at this drop down of the daily pivot. That's beautiful. It's glorious. It's a thing to behold. And I think a great target is halfway the distance to the most, the most close, the most, the mostest closest is, um, is halfway the distance to the pivot. Michael the Great says his na the name of his band would be The Signals. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's get rid of this line because it's going out in perpetuity. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to ignore this and we're going to ignore this reversal arrow. But look here, looky here now. This is a trifecta one, Knoxville divergence plus a reversal arrow. I really like that setup a lot. That's glorious. You have the Knoxville divergence followed by the reversal arrow. This is probably one of my favorite setups that I've looked at in my entire life. And I haven't looked at it in a long time because it's just old. It's something that, like I said, sometimes I revisit stuff that I used to use and I don't use anymore. Uh, Alex says, would I use this only on this pair? No, I would experiment with using this on a variety of currency pairs. Here is another one. There's a reversal tab all by its lonesome. Not going to look at that one. Not going to look at that one. Not going to look at this one. Not looking at that one. Okay, not going to. This is really nice and everything, but um, I'm not. I'm. I'm going to ignore it. And the reason I'll ignore it is that I'm. I just don't feel like I can dependably use it. So forget it. It's dead to me. This is a combination. I love this. This is a combination of Knoxville divergence and a reversal arrow. I love that. Once again, that's a little bit of a trifecta one. And a good morning to Wes. Hey, Wes, how you doing? I am doing fantastic. How are you, man? I'm great. I'm, we're just looking over trifecta one stuff. It's pretty fun. Whoa, that is awesome. So I what I was thinking one. is today, Wes, what we could do is, if you don't mind, we could set up some kind of a, a checkout page for everybody, maybe even an entreport, where they could get trifecta one for like five dollars. All right. If anybody watching this recording might say, hey, I want to I want to dive deeper into this. Let's let's do it. Let's do that. Let's do something crazy. <laughs> and um, we should even probably try to track that as we do with our pixels and so forth. Uh, all right. I love having conversations with Wes while everybody else is here. Would you ever want to be like just in a webinar with Wes and I while we're talking about business? That would that would actually that would actually be kind of interesting. Douglas the Great says, "Is this Knoxville Divergence version 3.5?" Sounds right to me. How close does the tab have to be to the Knoxville Divergence? Says Tim Feeney the Great. This is a brilliant question, Tim Feeney. Now I don't care how far away it is from the Knoxville Divergence necessarily. Timothy, Timothy, but I do, Timothy, want to see that there, the reversal hasn't occurred yet at that time. Does that make sense, Tim the Great? I don't want to, I don't want to see the Knoxville divergence and then have it go, like, start reversing and then miss the trade and then get the reversal arrow. Let's look at more examples and I think that you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, in the absence of a reversal arrow, with Knoxville divergence, you could draw a trend line. You could do that, and that would be perfectly acceptable. And there's another trend line, X marks the spot. I have no idea why I just drew that. This reminds me, we should do a support and resistance webinar tomorrow. We should do that. Gary the Great says he was in a band called the Embers, and, and like Embers, we burnt out shortly after starting. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty great. Um, that's great. Did you get a signal on this day? I'm sorry, Wayne. I'm, I'm not looking at that right now. I'm, I really apologize. Uh, lots of questions coming in. Does a T6 look at the same conditions? No, not really. How are the tabs being displayed? Is this part of the Knoxville Divergence Indicator? Okay, well, it's part of, in TradingView.com, when you have the TradingView.com indicator package, it's part of that indicator package as Booker Reversals. It is inside of 
the trifecta one class you should get for MetaTrader in particular you should get a copy of the reversal tabs it's probably available for TradeStation as well inside of that class and I'll make sure with Wes we make sure that it's in there for a download uh, when you when you have that um, as usual no sounds Marsha says there's no sound Wes would you mind maybe chatting with Marsha a little bit there and asking her to log out and log back in and that kind of thing yep William says do lifetime members already get trifecta one yeah you already get it it's already yours it's yours it's already yours you already have access to it there you go okay let's look at this this is a bunch of Knoxville divergence on the chart but there's no reversal tab and you'll see here what you want to do in those instances is draw a trend line across the top of those candles here is a nice combination Tim I loved your question here's a nice combination of Knoxville divergence and a reversal arrow Knoxville divergence reversal arrow and then a drop now I think in these instances it will go all the way down halfway the distance to the to the same pivot that was in existence when the reversal arrow and the divergence showed up but once it hits the nearest daily pivot I think that's a great place to get out of that trade here's another example right here I like this a lot it's not just got one of the things we talked about going on it's got two of the things going on all right that is a bunch of garbage drawn all over my chart look at everything that's going on in this example in this example not only do we have Knoxville divergence right here and I'll zoom in so you can see it even better we have Knoxville divergence right here suggesting a reversal we have a reversal arrow here and then we have another one here whenever there are reversal arrows within let's say 10 or 15 or 20 candles or bars of each other there's a there's a pretty nice reversal coming up in the near future and and probably all the way down to the daily pivot more than halfway the distance to the daily pivot uh, here's a set of Knoxville divergence lines but no reversal arrows shortly thereafter you can draw a trend line every single time if you want and that would be a completely reasonable thing to do here's two reversal arrows next to each other within 20 or I'd say 20 25 candles or bars from each other that's going to be a nice reversal without Knoxville divergence there all right that's kind of a little bit of a review if you want to get your greedy little paws on trifecta one we'll put a link uh, below the video on YouTube or above the video on Facebook if you don't have that already if you're a lifetime member you already got it it's already in your library and we hope you enjoy it and we love you all um, I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a Facebook live video I'm gonna test something out uh, in the next 20 minutes or so I'm gonna start it at 30 minutes past the hour so it's 13 minutes past the hour right now um, and if you go to Rob Booker trader we can continue this question and answer about everything that we've done here and I'm even going to try to show my charts and, and some other stuff we'll do a Q&A and I'll put the link up right inside the webinar it's uh, inside your chat section of the webinar and also it's right here on the screen and I would love to see you facebook.com slash Rob Booker Trader we're gonna try a little Facebook live Q&A we'll continue this conversation and uh, we'll see you tomorrow if you can't make that Facebook live we'll see you later on bye everyone have the the best day ever bye everyone <laughs>